Okay, welcome to lesson eight, year eight. And today you'll be looking at um, the same topic at the holiday village. Before starting the lesson, make sure you've got everything you need in front of you. So for this lesson, you will need the exercise book that the school gave you, a pen and a ruler, your knowledge organizer for module five, which is on class charts, and wordreference.com open on a tab um, for you to look up any vocabulary you are unfamiliar with. So pause to get that together now. Please do remember to email me with any questions on the activities in today's lesson and with photos of your work for home learning achievement points. And here's my email address. OK, just a reminder, Year 8, write the date in French. So I've left a space for it there. You'll find this on class charts on the notes about today's lesson, if you are not sure what the date is. And then I want your title in French, please. So, il y a assez d'activités pour les jeunes. There are enough activities for young people. So please make sure you underline that. Um, all should be in French with a ruler and then write down your objective to give opinions on the facilities in a holiday park. So pause to do that now. And here's your do now activity. It should take about eight minutes. I'd like you to translate the sentences either French into English or if they're in English, English into French. I like to write both the French and the English in your exercise book. Pause to do that now and play to get the answers. And so here are your answers to check your work. Numéro 1. You can go to the swimming pool or one can go to the swimming pool. In English, we tend to say you can go to the swimming pool because one can, which is what it literally means and what the key aspect of your lesson was last time. It sounds really formal, so we tend to use you can instead. Numéro deux. You cannot play tennis or one cannot play tennis. Numéro trois. On peut faire du vélo. OK. Remember to use the verb to do for this one. So faire. Quatre. On peut jouer au boule. Cinq. On ne peut pas jouer au golf. Et six. On ne peut pas aller au cinéma. OK, just pause to have a little look at those and I'm going to go through things further with you. So you must remember that for number two, it's a negative sentence. So we need to have the ne and pas surrounding the verb. So it's on ne peut pas and you do need both to make it um, a negative. And then that's followed by the infinitive, which here is jouer. Also for number five, on ne peut pas jouer. You cannot make sure you have all of those structures in place. And numéro six, on ne peut pas aller au cinéma. So you've got the n and the pat around peu, and then the infinitive aller afterwards. OK, pause now if you need to, to make all of your corrections. And then press play to move to activity number one. I'm going to pass over to Mrs. Turner for you now to teach you the rest of the lesson. OK, bon courage, au revoir. Activité 1. Match up, writing both the English and French into your books. Choose from the options provided on the right hand side of the screen. You have about four minutes, so pause the video now. Bien, let's check your work. 
Un, trop de, too much. Deux, beaucoup de, lots of. Trois, assez de, enough. You might recognize that one from our title. Quatre, pas assez de, not enough. Cinq, je pense que, I think that. Six, je trouve que, I find that. Sept, à mon avis, in my opinion. I'm going to run through pronunciation again. I'd like you to repeat after me. There is no need to pause the video. Trop de. Beaucoup de. Assez de. Pas assez de. Je pense que. Je trouve que. À mon avis. Well done. Activité 2. You're now going to make flashcards to help you rev revise those eight phrases. On your flashcards, I would like you to include pronunciation guidance for yourself. You can rewind the video to listen again to that last activity if you need to remind yourself about how to say each phrase. I've done an example here to show you. On one side of the flashcard, you should put the French. And underneath, a little guide as to how to pronounce it. So, il y a, doesn't look like it, but it sounds like il y a, il y a. On the other side of your flashcard, you should put the English. Once you've made your flashcards, test yourself on the vocabulary and get someone else in your house to test you too, if possible. Take 10 minutes, pause the video now. Activité 3. Listen and note down the missing words into your book. Number from 1 to 8 in your book. You do not need to copy the whole conversation. Page 83. Exercice 3. Lis et écoute l'interview. Et note les mots qui manquent. Pardon, madame. Qu'est-ce que vous pensez du centre de vacances À mon avis, il est excellent, car il est très bien situé ici, en pleine forêt. Est-ce qu'il y a assez d'activités pour les enfants Oh oui, je pense que la piscine est superbe. Et il y a aussi beaucoup de possibilités de promenade à pied et à vélo. Est-ce qu'il y a trop de restaurants Il y a trois restaurants et je trouve que ça suffit. Par contre, il n'y a pas assez de magasins. Bon travail. Remember, if you've still got some gaps, you can re rewind the video and listen again. Here come the answers. 1. Pensez. 2. Avis. 3. Assez. 4. Pense. 5. Beaucoup. 6. Trop. 7. Trouve. 8. Assez. Mark your work. Give yourself a total out of 8. Okay. So you should be feeling fairly familiar with this conversation now. I'd like you to listen to the questions being asked by me and then read the response aloud. I'm the blue in italics, you are the orange part. There is no need to pause the video for this task. Off we go. Pardon, madame. Qu'est-ce que vous pensez du centre de vacances?
Est-ce qu'il y a assez d'activités pour les enfants? Est-ce qu'il y a trop de restaurants? Well done, Year 8. Repeat this task twice so that you feel confident about speaking your part aloud. Activité 5. Copy and complete the sentences in French and in English. You will notice that you can use the English to help you find the missing word in French and you can use the French side to help you work out what the missing word is in your English translation. You should write both French and English into your book. You have 10 minutes, so pause the video now. Well done, Year 8. If you've finished your work and have any time remaining, spend it learning the vocabulary in the indicated section of the Knowledge Organiser below. Today we're focusing on those opinion words that you've practiced in today's lesson. Well done, see you next time.